What does Maimonides' health mean to Brooklyn? It's my rescue. For heart attack survival, Maimonides Heart and Vascular Institute is tops in New York. It's my comeback. To get back on your feet fast, Maimonides offers a comprehensive bone and joint center. For over 100 years, Maimonides is the one that's cared for, worked for, and been there for Brooklyn. My home. My choice. Maimonides. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Fuck him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Holiday gifts are only as good as the network they're on. So give your family the gift of Verizon. Only Verizon gives you a free 5G phone with select trade-in and select 5G unlimited plans and another gift, like a tablet, smartwatch, and earbuds, all on us. A service plan is required for gifts, only on the network America relies on. Verizon. 5G phone, up to $999.99 device payment purchase or full retail purchase with new or upgrade smartphone line required. Less up to $1,000 trade-in slash promo credit applied over 36 months, 0% APR. Additional terms and conditions apply. Visit verizon.com for other details. Jam it. Ladies Night R&B Super Jam. Barclays Center, Brooklyn. Friday, February 10th. It's another can't-miss event. Featuring Maxwell. Neo. Asia Cole. Hey, Mario Stokely, Black Street, Carl Thomas. It's Ladies Night R&B Super Jam. Friday, February 10th at Barclays Center. Get your tickets at SeatGeek. This is Kevin Durant. It's time for Brooklyn Nets basketball. Barclays Bank is powering possible. Proudly supporting Barclays Center and Brooklyn Nets basketball for 10 years. O'Neal digs it up top. Durant in the front court. Left side. Harris got in the air. Backs it out. O'Neal finds Durant at the rim and a two-hand slam. Curry's got it for the Nets. Into the front court. Finds Irving up top for a three. Knocks it down. From way downtown. Up to Harris. Straight on three. Gone for Joe Harris. No hesitation from Joe, and he knocks down a huge three to give the Nets their largest lead of the night. Brought to you by SeatGeek, Verizon, Maimonides, and by Weevil, official online brokerage partner of Barclays Center and the Brooklyn Nets. time for Mallory Saucier and Sabrina and Sam Miller. All right. Sabrina and Sam Miller, and I don't know how to pronounce the first name, but but they did a terrific rendition of the national anthem. We're ready to go here at Smoothie King Center in New Orleans. Take a look at the Starting lineups brought to you by Downtown Brooklyn Nursing and Rehabilitation Center for your Brooklyn Nets at 25 and 13 on the year. Kyrie Irving is averaging 26.2 points per game. Put off a 25-point game against the Chicago Bulls in the loss the other night. Kyrie, the leading vote getter amongst front court players in the All-Star game, showing his popularity around the He country. is a popular player, Chris, in the way that he has played during his streak and the moves and the plays, his his style with which he's got some things done. I understand why fans just love watching him play. Rounding out the starting five, Ben Simmons, Royce O'Neal looking to bounce back from what was really a struggle the other night in Chicago. He was 0 for 9 from the floor, 0 for 8 from 3. But you heard Jacques Vaughn telling us before the game that really important to show the confidence in Royce O'Neal because it is a long season. Yeah, and that's that's great maturity. You know, that's just understanding. That's probably being the next player, understanding and not making, uh, you know, quick decisions like that. But, I, you know, we were talking about it, though. Sometimes it's not your night. 
So you can go back and forth, you know, but I do think you're playing the long game when you got an 82 game. Well, you know what it is, and he kept getting such wide open looks. Yeah. And you know, Nor- he's a 40% three point shooter this year. You know, you can make those shots. So you, you know, if you're out there and the team gives you the ball and you've got an open shot, you've got to take that shot. Oh, no yeah. matter how cold you are that night. You got to be a goldfish. You can't, okay. can't worry about the other shots, man. You got to be you. Re- ready to go. Ted Lasso. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Kevin Durant's averaged 30 points a game. He had 44 against Chicago. He was nine for nine. On the free throw line, he leads the NBA in free throw shooting at 93. percent It's hard that we went through a whole pregame show. We didn't even mention the name Kevin Durant. Uh, Kevin Durant is playing possibly the best basketball of his career this year. Nick Claxton is ninth in the All Star voting amongst front court players. Claxton averaging 12 points, eight rebounds a game, leading the league in field goal percentage at 73. percent That rounds out the starting five for Jacques Vaughn for the Pelicans. But without Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram, their starting five is C.J. McCollum. Herbert Jones, who was a second-team all-rookie player last year, led all rookies in steals per game. He's averaging almost a steal and a half per game this year. He'll start alongside the man in the middle, Jonas Valanciunas, who the Nets have always had difficulty with. 13 and a half points, nearly 10 rebounds per game. Old school, big guy down low like a dinosaur. He'll you know, post up. He's a physical presence, and you've got to keep him and other Pelicans off the offensive backboard. That'll be a challenge for the Nets tonight. They've got to make sure everybody's in rebounding. Trey Murphy is coming off a terrific rookie season, the 17th pick out of Virginia in 2021. Originally drafted by Memphis, traded to New Orleans. Spent a couple of years at Rice before going on to Virginia and really surprised everybody with a three-point shooting ability. He's up to 42% this year from behind the arc. Aptly named Trey Murphy. Yeah, and one of the most improved players in the NBA. What a very good evaluations up and down this lineup by uh, David Griffin and company that that do all that kind of scouting for this Pelicans crew. Yeah. Really impressive. And trades in Langdon, their general yes. manager former net assistant general manager under Sean Marks. Rounding out the starting five with no Zion, Najee Marshall will start at the power forward spot. The officials in this one, Tyler Ford, J.D. DeRosa, and Aaron Smith as we gave the injury report but no Zion, no Brandon Ingram. The Nets are healthy right now. That's the big story for them injury-wise. As we get ready for the opening tip, it's brought to you by Verizon, the network America relies on. The Nets will wear their standard white uniforms tonight with the black letters and numbers. Brooklyn arched across the chest in a simple font. And New Orleans wearing their NOLA uniforms. A deep purple with NOLA across the chest in white with a a stripe of green above a yellow stripe that goes all the way around the uniform from front to back. Deep purple. Huh? It's one yeah, of those, a little smoke um... on the water here in uh, New Orleans. <laughs> this is a cigar shop. Well, there was, in, in the French court there, we passed a cigar shop that was called Smoke, smoke on the Water, right by the river over yep. there. A little fleur-de-lis on the side of the shorts of these Pelican uniforms. These uniforms are great because they remind you of the old New Orleans jazz uniforms. Yeah. So it'll be Valentunas against Claxton. Claxton steals the tip, wins it back, and we're underway. Kyrie Irving hears the booze as he brings it across the midcourt line. We mentioned his popularity around the country, but not here at Smoothie King Center. He's got it along the right side, gives it up right wing now. Royce O'Neal circles out top, finds Durant. Durant working left, a runner in the air, won't fall, but a foul is called. Against Herbert Jones, who has the job of trying to slow down Kevin Durant right now. Well, you know, and he's developed a reputation, Herb Jones, about being one of the top defenders in the NBA. So this is a big, big night for him. Certainly, Kevin Durant wants to do that. Get him in a little foul trouble, so he's thinking a little differently. Free throw on the way by KD is good. He leads the NBA in free throw percentage. The Nets have the leader in free throw percentage in Durant, the leader in field goal percentage in Claxton. But Utah Watanabe just fell off qualifying right now. You have to make, you have to have a made three for every game your team has played to qualify amongst the league leaders as Durant makes that free throw. Utah has 37 made threes, in the Nets have 38 games played. I tell you, also has a big challenge. That is Ben Simmons' match with C.J. McCollum. That's going to be the key matchup. Out of the left side, Simmons 
They're able to deflect it out of bounds. I think that's a you know a healthy thing when Ben Simmons says, "Hey, listen, your job, if Jock wants, is just let's see your defense tonight. Let's see your defense and push the pace. Don't think about other stuff." Like Mission Impossible, your assignment if you yeah, choose, choose to, to accept step. it. Valanciunas working against Claxton, pulling him toward the rim, and then had it blocked out of bounds from Nick Claxton. Claxton, uh, excuse me, Valanciunas is arguing that that it was a foul. It was a strange play, and there was some contact Nick on his head. Nick kind of took the chair out from him. Yeah. They switch now. Simmons ends up on Valanciunas, twisting, trying to draw the foul, and ended up with a bad shot that missed. Nets running. Simmons trying to throw a bounce pass back door to Irving. Najee Marshall knocked it away, but he couldn't control it. It rolls into that bench area out of bounds. It'll remain Brooklyn ball. 2 nothing. Nets, 11-14 to go. Here in the first quarter. It, it, already, Valanciunas is angry. Two calls didn't go his way. One, two non, non calls. Let's see if how that affects his play and how physical he becomes. Looks like a guy that can oh, knock down a tree with his it, bare hands. It's unbelievable. They go down to Durant. Left block. Durant turns over Jones. Jumper short. Rebound deflected ahead. Claxton tracks it down between the circles, and the Nets will reset. Simmons up top. Taking it left, driving to the hole, lays it up and in off the window. And the Nets for the 4 nothing lead. Oh, he's a good sign when Ben Simmons is aggressive going at the basket. C.J. McCullough gives it out high for Valanciunas between the circles. Claxton plays off him a bit. Now they give it to McCullough. Switched up with Claxton on him. McCullough trying to work left, gets around Claxton. Now stops and Claxton blocks his jump shot attempt. And Claxton controls it up the right side of the floor. Nick holds, backs it out to Simmons. Nets still pitching a shutout with a minute and a half gone here with the first quarter. Simmons driving it hard on Valanciunas, twisting inside, laid it off the window, and it comes off the front of the rim, no good. Rebounded by New Orleans. Left to right, they go on the purple. Marshall's got it up top. Marshall calls the Pacers out of the right side to Murphy. That was an old uh, what was that? track racing thing. What's that? You I'll tell you in a second. Valanciunas right on the lane, working against Simmons, backing him in, twisting through two defenders, blocked from behind by Claxton, loose on the floor. Bodies on the ground. Claxton in a tie-up and a jump ball call. But then they get a shot clock violation. Before it, they do a shot clock violation. Oh, the Nets have come up, come out pumped up on the defensive end. They sure have. They've been fortunate because there's been some contact along the way. This game is they're letting them play down low, but the aggressiveness and then attacking the loose ball on the floor. How about Nick Claxton, boy, putting on a show defensively? By the way, at the, yeah, at the racetrack, that, Mark? the yeah, horses, right. they would, they'll, they'll announce to the crowd, Marshall calls the Pacers two minutes to post. Oh, all right, okay, I'm sorry. So Marshall calls the Pacers, I was saying, with Marshall, he was out uh, there uh, directing uh, uh, Very, very showing up. Right? Yeah, yeah. Here's Durant out of the left side. He's played by Najee Marshall. Moves to the elbow, left elbow jumper, no good, too strong. And the rebound in New Orleans. 4 nothing next, 9-4 to go in the first. Marshall. Everybody stands before the first bucket. Marshall taking it down the lane. Try to leave it off for Jones, and he turns it over. Simmons has it. So everybody's tired. They can't sit down. Pass to midcourt. Durant nearly had it stolen. Able to gather it, and now moves it out top for Simmons. Simmons to the foul line. Out of the right wing to O'Neal. Up top, Irving. Kyrie with 11 to shoot. Out of the right side now, high straddling the arc is Simmons. Back it down to shoulder McCullough. Moves inside. Gets in pace. Out it goes. Durant a three. No good. It was short. KD uncharacteristically off here in the early going. Yes. 0 for 3. It's shocking when he missed his shots. And that was wide open. Good kick out by Ben Simmons. 4 nothing. Next. Nine minutes to go in the first. The crowd's still standing. McCullum working right. Bumping in the paint. Kick it to Jones. Touch pass in the corner. Marshall an open three is good. And everybody cheers. And now they can actually sit down. How about that? First night of Monte Gras. These guys want to stay rested. Yeah. Some beads might go up yeah. pretty soon. Here's Irving out of the right wing, picked up by Trey Murphy, dancing with it, cuts right. Murphy won't let him go anywhere. Tough fadeaway, good for Kyrie Irving. Ah, that was a bit impressive because you're right. Trey Murphy guarded him well. They got some long, athletic guys on the wings. Big challenge for the Nets. Marshall working right, cut off by Claxton. Comes out the other side with a reverse, no good. But Claxton commits his first personal foul. Got three blocks here in the first quarter. How about that? You could, you could almost, you could almost sense Najee Marshall that time was looking deterred a little bit by Claxton yeah. hanging over his it, shoulder. It, it, he's, he's getting that reputation now of a guy that, listen, if you're gonna go in there, and you never lose that playground mentality. One of the most embarrassing things you can have happen to you is get your shot blocked. Mm -hmm. Free throw is good. It's, it's, it's really not a big deal, but it goes back to even when you're a kid. 
and Nick Cla- we saw that when Net- Nets used to play against Gobert all the time. They'd go in, and all they do is look around. That's what I think opponents are starting to do with Nick Claxton now. Marshall second, rolls off, tipped in, but that's a fast interference against Valanchunas. It might have ended up going in if you hadn't touched it. 6-4 Nets, 8.22 to go. We're in the first quarter to Orleans. The Nets, two for six shooting. The New Orleans, one for five. Impressed with the aggressiveness of Ben Simmons, though, coming out on both sides. Durant, left to the lane, in front of that bench, out to Irving, off the screen, curls into a three, and it's in and out, no good. Rebounded by Marshall for the Pels. Pelicans in the purple, left to right, they go. Out of the right side, McCollum, he'll jack up a deep three on the right wing, and it's good. Oh, good six feet behind the arc. But you got to be alert to that right there, and that's kind of thing. Nick Claxton fell asleep. we got to communicate. New Orleans takes the lead, 7-6. Irving a step back. Now he'll give it up top for Simmons between the circles now. Then out of the right wing to O'Neal. Dumps it inside. Durant played by Herbert Jones. Right of the lane. Durant bumps with him. Turns into a double. Now face away with a fadeaway along the baseline. Won't go. Durant missing his first four shots here tonight. New Orleans into the front court. McCullum, CJ, working left. Around Claxton, under the basket, out the other side, the near side, circles again, runs at a Simmons, bounce pass to the corner. Jones working, trying to go through two defenders, lost the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Ben Simmons. It'll be New Orleans ball with 10 to shoot. I, I think, what was the number? 38 of 42, uh, Kevin Durant was recently? 28 to 34 30. over the last three games. No, I was close, so he's almost missed as many tonight as he has over the last three games. Listen, he's entitled every once in a while. I, I agree. Here's That's McCullough on the near side. Pump fake. Got Claxton to bite a bit. Now moves it. Cross on the left. Jones a three, and it's good. Overhelped that time. Overhelped. All the way into the paint. You're going to tease Herb Jones. He's a, only a high 20s three-point shooter, but he drilled it. Now Nets into the front court, trailing 10-6. Seven-minute mark of the first. Irving hiding around a Simmons screen, working right. Foul on. A lot of dribbling. Came and left down the lane, put it high off the window. No good. Valentinus to the rebound. Finds Marshall streaking up the middle of the floor. Leaves it behind for Murphy. Pump fake. Durant closed on him. Murphy drives and kicks to Marshall. Corner three in the right. No good. And then sweeping in to get it. Here's Jones. He'll back it out. New Orleans, another possession. Got a 10 to shoot. McCullum's got it up top. Played by Royce O'Neal. Coming right now. McCollum against O'Neal. Dancing to the right elbow with a pull-up jumper, and it's in and out. No good. Rebounded by Ben Simmons. Push the pace. Beat this good defense up the floor. Here's a left. left. Durant, a three. Is no good. It was short. Missed his first five shots. New Orleans front court. Murphy run off the line. Gets to the baseline. Nice one up off the window. Rolls around. Goes in. And a foul is called. And a timeout. Three-point play opportunity coming up for Trey Murphy when we come back. 6-16 to go in the first quarter of New Orleans. Pelicans 12, net 6 on the fan. Sports Radio 101.9 FM and streaming on the free. Odyssey app. Searching for ways to save energy and make your home more comfortable? National Grid, a proud partner of the Brooklyn Nets, is here to help. It all starts by wrapping your home with layers of comfort and savings to keep extreme temperatures out and savings in. From replacement windows to air sealing and insulation, we have exclusive rebates available to help weatherize your home. It's all part of our Total Home Comfort Program. Learn more at ngrid.com slash ee. Are your tires ready for the harsh winter roads ahead? Then go to Town Fair Tire for the guaranteed lowest price on Michelin winter tires, offering shorter stopping distances on ice and snow thanks to their exceptional grip, along with predictable handling in cold, dry, and wet wintry conditions. For the guaranteed lowest price on Michelin winter tires and the most free services for life, get to Town Fair because nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Main brands at discount prices. Town Fair Tire. Are you the type of person who always expects a little more out of life? Then it might be time for a new Kia Telluride X-Pro. With its redesigned grill, headlamps, and trim, this SUV is stylish enough to stand out in any setting. With its high-end tech and available surround view monitor, it's equipped to make your life easier in all different ways. With its class-leading cabin room and available second-row captain's chairs, it's comfortable enough to have you always dreaming of your next excursion. And with its high ground clearance and upgraded traction control system, it's rugged and capable enough that the 
trip doesn't have to end when the pavement does. With all of these premium updates and more, there's no doubt the Telluride X Pro can take you beyond your expectations and beyond that. The new Kia Telluride X Pro. Welcome to a new elevation. To learn more, visit kia.com slash Telluride today. Kia, movement that inspires. Quantities limited, cabin space claim based on a comparison of mid-size SUV class segmentation using manufacturer supplied data as of September 2022. Surround view monitor may not display all objects around the vehicle. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely and use caution. WFAN. WFAN FM. WFAN FM HD1. New York. Always live on the free Odyssey app. Hi, this is Patty Mills, and you're listening to Brooklyn Nets Basketball on The Fan, 101.9 FM and the Odyssey app. Vote the Brooklyn way and send your favorite Nets to the 2023 NBA All-Star Game. Head to brooklynets.com slash all-star to vote now. Support the squad. Send your Nets to Salt Lake City. 6.16 to go in the first quarter here in New Orleans. The Pelicans out to a 12-6 lead over the Nets. A rare off night so far for Kevin Durant. 0 for his first five. Yeah, that is uh, the quick storyline. And the Nets came out with a decent up 4-0. And then for a 12-2 run, they've just gotten really stagnant off- offensively. Notice one on the offensive side. Awful lot of ISO already. Right? Mm-hmm. A lot of one-on-one play, which is good. Because you got Durant and Irving, but I think even you asked the question one time to Jacques Vaughn, would you like to like almost make sure you're getting everybody involved and get a lot of screening and movement early on? Like early on and then maybe as the fourth quarter goes on, then maybe get to the ISO game between uh, Durant and Irving. And that's got to move it better. Trey Murphy makes that free throw. Remember, it was a three point play. 13 6, New Orleans. Pelicans at 24 and 14 coming off a win against Houston the other night. Playing without Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram. Irving working to the top of the key. Moves it right. O'Neal's got it. Shoots a three. And hits. Nothing but net as he points to the sky. He needed that one to go down after going 0 for 8 from 3 against Chicago. Yeah, he just he drilled that too. That was a swish. Great rotation. Murphy up top. Played by O'Neal. Gives right. McCollum circles to the foul line. Cuts back right. Simmons all over him. McCollum nowhere to go. 8 to shoot. Backs it out. Claxton took it away. Valanchunas sliding into him. He's going to get called for a foul here. When you think of the versatility of Nick Claxton defensively, it is amazing, Chris. He's blocked. How many guys go, switch out to point guards, guard them, and then are leaders in the NBA in blocking shots? And then he gets out on steals. He was talking a few weeks ago about, I want to be defensive player of the year. I was kind of like, come on, settle down, Nick. But you know something? He should be an all-defensive yeah. player, that's for sure. Here's Durant, the elbow, working the paint, turn around off back foot like Dirk Nowitzki, and he knocks it down from just inside the foul line. His first bucket. Alvarado pushes the pace quick. He has just checked into the game. McCollum gives the Valentunas, rolling inside. The leaner rolls in. Where Jonas, Valentunas. You got to body him early. They call, use the term, get your work done early, because he'll put you right underneath the basket. Here to whistle an offensive foul on Claxton as he... Wiped out Herbert Jones on a screen trying to free up Durant. Second foul on Claxton. Yeah, that's why he's got to be careful on cheap fouls because he's so valuable to this net team. Seth Curry's going to come in right now. Curry, who had a big night in the loss to the Bulls the other night. 22 points on 6 of 7 from 3. Comes in for Royce O'Neal. T.J. Warren, who is questionable because of a rib contusion he suffered late in the game against Chicago, also comes into the game now. He is available tonight. Irving, Curry, Warren, Simmons, and Durant. Claxton sits with the two fouls. Valanciunas out top, McCullough. Moves it left, Alvarado, the Brooklyn native with a three, and it's good. Well, be careful. He likes to sneak up behind you. Out of Christ the King High School. And he... Snuck up on Simmons, who kept it away that time. 18-11. New Orleans, 4-40 to go in the first. Durant 
Cuts right to the foul line up top, Curry. Curry works to the elbow. Backs up, picked up the dribble. Durant can't get free. Curry has to move it right for Warren. Down a four to shoot. Warren bumps, gets some separation. Has it head of the arc. Down to two to one. Shoots a three. It's no good off the back rim. Long rebound. Tipped by Irving over to Simmons. Behind his back to Kyrie. He'll hoist up a three. It's good for Kyrie Irving. Crafty play by Simmons that time as he caught it. He was able to put it behind his back and set a screen at the same time. 18-14 New Orleans. 4-12 to go. We're in the first quarter. McCullum up top. Moves it right. Alvarado has it. Jose Alvarado, he'll launch an open three. That one's in and out. Rebound deflected ahead. Simmons controls. Middle of the pack. Into the front court. Moves it right. Irving's got it. One off the line. Drives instead. Gets cut off by Alvarado. Working to the left block. Stripped away out of bounds by Alvarado. It'll remain that ball. 15 to shoot. The energy level of Alvarado, right? He comes in on the floor. He didn't got his, you know, his quick hands. He's made a three. They stripped to Kyrie that time. Crowd loves him. Dyson Daniels, the rookie, the eighth pick this year out of the G League Ignite, comes into the game. Murphy, Jones, and Valentunas all go to the bench. Larry Nance Jr. in the game. Durant on the block. Turn around shot. Won't fall. Nance with a rebound. Nance have been out since the December 28th game. Daniels in the corner. A three is good for Najee Marshall. His second three. And New Orleans with a 21-14 lead. Three and a half to go in the first. Five of seven are the Pelicans right now. The Nets are over-helping in the paint and resulting in open threes. Durant out of the right side. Counts it up top. Stole it away by Marshall. Turns the corner. Gets it to the front court. Leaves it on the right wing. Alvarado back to Marshall. Right corner wide. Open three. Good again. Shot ball needs a timeout. Pelicans flying to a 10-point lead. Doing it with the three ball. Six of eight from behind the three-point line. Unselfish play that time by Alvarado. He had a good shot, but Marshall had a better one. 3.17 to go. First quarter New Orleans. Pelicans 24. Nets 14 on the fans. 4 Radio, 1019 FM and streaming on the free Odyssey app. At Barclays Bank, we're all about powering possible. Turning insights into action. Goals into growth and empowering our clients with financial solutions that deliver results. Barclays, powering possible. Are you ready? Stock up and save big now, store-wide at the Lowe's Truckload event. For a limited time, save up to 50% on select tools and accessories from the brands you trust. And buy a DeWalt 12-inch dual bevel miter saw and get an adjustable stand for free. Plus, get deals on appliances, bath, and more. Head to your local Lowe's or visit Lowe's.com to shop the Truckload event today. While supplies last, selection varies by location. Valid 1229 to 111. This last year has taught us that financial power is in the hands of the people. Enter the market confidently with Weeble, the trading app that is here to elevate your investing experience with access to a community of investors, education, and technology right at your fingertips. Stay informed on the go with real-time data and market research. Join millions of users today, learning, sharing, and investing with the Weeble app. Consider your investment risks carefully. Weeble Financial, LLC. Those are sports sounds. And people love sports so much, it makes them pay attention when I say drivers who switch and save with Progressive could save hundreds. And we all know how sports fans feel about big saves. See what I did there? Save is also a sports word. So save big when you switch to Progressive. Ooh, that's a golf clap. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. At Barclays Bank, we're all about powering possible. Turning insights into action, goals into growth, and empowering our clients with financial solutions that deliver results. Barclays, powering possible. Hey, this is Nick Claxton, and you're listening to Brooklyn Nets Basketball on the Fan, 1019 FM in the Odyssey app. Net fans with Grubhub, you'll always have home court advantage. Grubhub has all your game day favorites. Go for Grubhub to get anything you crave. What if I call Grubhub right now where they deliver me some gumbo? Oh, that would be unbelievable, right? Yeah. They show oh, up. I can get them to come right here. 317 to go in the first quarter. New Orleans, a 24 to 14 lead over the Nets. I've already had Grubhub it. I've already had a gumbo with two different meals since we've been here, so I don't need a third. But I could do gumbo for breakfast. Yeah, and you dessert. All right, now 
right now, it's like it's Nazi, Nazi Marshall's had a little gumbo, and it's been really good because he's three or four from three. Feeling good. You said different guys would get opportunities without uh, Zion out there, without Ingram. Marshall stepping up, making shots. Next put Claxton back in the game with the two fouls. Watanabe brings it up the floor because McCollum was denying Curry. Claxton up top. They still have a pure ball handling center out there. Durant turns it over. Daniels into the front court for Marshall. Attacking and kicking to McCollum for a three on the right wing. No good. Rebound on the weak side by Durant. AD will now act as the point guard. Moves into the front court. Top of the arc. Working right to the dotted line. Bottled up by two defenders. Out to Curry. Curry. Straight on. Comes right. Played by the youngster Daniels. Kicking in the quarter to Watanabe. Back out top for Curry. Skip pass Warren. Three to shoot. Warren left to the lane. Stripped by Alvarado. Back it out. Plaques into the shot clock. Runs out on the nets. How about Alvarado since he's entered the game, right? Talk about an energy boost. Be B12. He'd be number 12. What a B12, right? You still like that. He has got it going on right now. The quick steal that forced the 24 seconds. No deflection. Alvarado gives left of the circle to Larry Nance Jr. Comes left. Hands it off for McCullum. Out of the left wing, a step back, a long two. No good, it was short. Durant with a rebound. AD head up, right to left, into the front court. Nets in white, Pelicans in purple. Durant blows around. Marshall going to the rim and a two hand slam for Kevin Durant. 24 to 16, New Orleans. Two minutes to go in the first. On the right side now, Marshall back it out top, McCullum. McCullum coming left. Works right in the lane with a floater, no good. Claxton might get a piece of that one. Ahead now, it's Warren. On the right, Curry in the corner. Watanabe a three, and it's good for Utah Watanabe. Kind of was taken out of the game against Chicago because of foul trouble. Only played six minutes, but responds here with a three. It is first action in New Orleans. The right corner, not the left time. No, that's time. not Watanabe way. It's on the other, the other part of town. Here's Alvarado coming under the rim, keeping the dribble, circling all the way to the goal, and lays it up and in. Putting on a little show is Jose Alvarado tonight. Doing a little bit of everything. 26-19 New Orleans. A minute 16 to go. First quarter. Duran out top. Right a Claxton screen. Working left. Runs in a nance. Counts off into the fadeaway. It won't fall, but a foul will put, will put Kevin Durant at the line to shoot two. As now called against the Pelicans. It's on Larry Nance Jr. Willie Green and Jaron Collins, the two... Uh, Will Green's the head coach, top assistant, Jaron Collins, were both with Kevin Durant and his time at, at Golden State. Jaron Collins, of course, the twin brother of Jason Collins, the former net. Kevin Durant at the line. He leads the NBA in free throw percentage, knocks down the first. Jackson Hayes going to check into the game now for New Orleans. The seven-foot shot blocker out of Texas. Another Texas big man, right? Mm -hmm. They're all over the place. A former Big 12 freshman of the year. Kevin Durant also spent one year in Texas. Free throw good for KD. 26-21 New Orleans. Approaching a minute to go in the first. Alvarado out of the right side. Dancing with it to the baseline. Jump pass in the middle of Hayes and the jump hook. No good. And the rebound grabbed by Claxton. Trying to hand it off for... Durant knocked that away played by, uh, in the air, I should say, by Alvarado. Nets able to gather, move it to the front court. Durant's got down low to Claxton, posting up the smaller Alvarado. Tried to draw the charge. Now Claxton surrounded, finds Curry on the wing for a three, and it's good for Curry. Good job by Claxton staying with it. Excellent. Absolutely. Had it stripped down. It just physically kicked it back to Seth Curry. Nets are within two after trailing. By 10. Showing a lot of character. Well, knocked out of bounds. It'll remain New Orleans ball. I, I know it's early, but uh, showing some uh, real toughness right now are the Nets. They're on a 10-2 run here. Up top, Alvarado working right to the foul line. Had a poke loose by Durant. Retrieves it with 10 seconds to shoot. Heads up in the corner. Hayes working on the baseline. Euro stepping through with a floater. No good. His tip goes down, though. He is uh, long and athletic. What feet that time to get to the other side of the rim, and uh, obviously at seven foot to tip it in. New Orleans with a four point lead. Final seconds of the first quarter. Kevin Durant, the edge of the Pelican logo at midcourt, winding the dribble back and forth. 
Shot clock is off. Down to six seconds to go in the quarter. Durant picked up by Hayes. Out of the right wing. Behind the arc. A deep three. He lets it fly and he knocks it down. His first three. Final seconds. Inbound three-quarter court heat by Nance is on the way. And it's off the front of the rim. No good. What a count it. So Kevin Durant missed his first five shots. Still ends up with 11 points. And a 28-27 lead for the Pelicans at the end of one. Back to the second quarter, New Orleans right after this on the fans. Sports Radio 101.9 FM and streaming on the free Odyssey app. Of course I know how to. Ahead, gets a feed going uncontested at a two-hand slam. And the Nets are within eight. And Willie Green wants a timeout. So the Nets, the 15-point lead has been trimmed down to eight. Six minutes to go in the second. New Orleans 45, Brooklyn 37, and we're back right after this on the fans. Sports Radio, 101.9 FM, and streaming on the free Odyssey app. Are you the type of person who always expects a little more out of life? Then it might be time for a new Kia Telluride X-Pro. With its redesigned grill, headlamps, and trim, this SUV is stylish enough to stand out in any setting. With its high-end tech and available surround view monitor, it's equipped to make your life easier in all different ways. With its class-leading cabin room and available second-row captain's chairs, it's comfortable enough to have you always dreaming of your next excursion. And with its high ground clearance and upgraded traction control system, from Nesmith, and now the Blazers come back the other way. Here's Grant, drive, step through, kicks to the corner. Dame ball fake, step back three, no good. Long rebound, Josh Hart controls it. He drives, bounce pass to Grant, slips through, and he slams it down in the face of Miles Turner. Ooh, facial with exfoliation. 66-64, Trailblazers, nine points for Grant. Halliburton up top to Turner. Holds on to the ball as he goes left and now gives it up to Nemar. At the elbow, fades away. No good. Rebound Nurkic. She's got 12 points and 12 boards for his 12th double-double. Hart hands it off to Simons. Catch and shoot three. That's off the mark. Blazers in front, 66-64. And that is the 11th double-double for Nurkic. Here's a Halliburton three, and that is good. 67-66 Indiana. Halliburton now nine points after those back-to-back three-pointers. Excuse me, he's got five points. They haven't put that one up on the board yet. Underneath, there's Nurkic who slips to the rim and puts it in past Turner. And Indiana's going to take a timeout here with 6.46 to play in the third quarter. And the Blazers back in front, 68 to 67. Yusuf Nurkic now with 14 points, 12 rebounds, and four assists. We'll take a timeout on the Trailblazers Radio Network. Hey, Rip City. This is Justice Winslow. Deck the halls with Blazers gear. La 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 la. Rip City Clothing Company is the store for your unique blazer style. Whether in person or online, we have something for you to rep your home team, including the latest jerseys. Come on down to Moda Center or visit ripcityclothingcompany.com today. Get up, Rip City! Use your First Tech credit or debit card to get 10% off at Rip City Clothing Company at Moda Center. The there's always time for the drive through deal. Because no matter how fast you are at making breakfast, McDonald's is faster. Nothing fits your morning routine like your favorite breakfast. From a sausage McMuffin to a sausage burrito to those crisp, flaky, fluffy hash browns. Mix and match them every day with buy one, get one for a dollar. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. It's the highly anticipated return of Arctic Monkeys. Live in concert in... Five left third, Harden, inside pass to Harrell. Shot rejected by Williams. Over the midcourt line to Levine on a three-on-two. Levine leans over the bounce of the right elbow. Up top, Pooch, on a pump. The pitch out, left side, White. Steps into a three-no. Put back with right hand, Patrick Williams. Oh, my goodness. 
And that dunk sponsored by Duncan, the Bulls, and the Claw, and the Paw. And you've got to be kidding me as Philly almost turned it over, Bill. And on a half-court pass, as Harold kept the ball in play, but then in backcourt, Maxie with a violation on an over and back. But how about that slam? That was pretty nice. And how about Patrick Williams, who did not score in the first half, has 11 here in the third quarter. Yep. It's time for Who's on a Roll, sponsored by Bet Rivers, Chicago's hometown sportsbook. And I want to go with Patrick Williams, but Zach Levine with that three, he is on a roll, 22 points. Sponsored by Bet Rivers, Chicago's hometown sportsbook. Again, Patrick Williams, as he did the other night against the Nets. Levine shakes, makes left side three. Put him in the hole. Put him in the hole of fame. Zach Levine, 7-7 seven seven from three-point range. He's got 25, and he is on fire here. He's got a little cherry pie falling from the sky with some sweetness. Wow. 85-74, Bulls have busted this baby open. Here's a runner by Maxi No. Rebound Vucevic, that's his 17th. Kobe dribble drive with a handoff to Levine. Why not? Right side three. Zach Levine right down the pipe. Oh, my goodness. Ring that Liberty Bell, Zach. Ring it loud and clear. 88-74, Bulls, 332 left. Third quarter, Levine has dropped 28 against the Sixers right here. 670 the score, Horizon Therapeutics, Bulls Radio Network. Bulls fan, Ira DeSumo here. This is where the Bulls play. Listen to every game right here on the Bulls Radio Network and Odyssey app. Horizon Therapeutics, the official biotechnology company of the Chicago Bulls, is focused on discovering and developing medicines for people impacted by rare diseases. Believing that science and compassion must work together to transform lives, Horizon applies scientific expertise to bring clinically meaningful therapies to patients. To learn more about how Horizon goes to incredible lengths to impact lives, visit horizontherapeutics.com. You trade hard for your money, and that's why you deserve it all with Tastyworks. Trade options, stocks, futures, and crypto in one powerful platform that you can access wherever you are. And Tastyworks gives you access to free in-app content that helps you trade with inspiration. Start trading your way and get up to $2,000 when you open and fund a new Tastyworks account. Tastyworks, love where you trade. Certain restrictions apply. Visit Tastyworks.com for more info. IPOs to financing the ESG transition. With us, change isn't a challenge, it's an opportunity. Barclays, powering possible. Hi, this is Joe Harris, and you're listening to Brooklyn Nets Basketball with my boys, Chris and the Capper, on the fan. Well, Nets fans come out to Barkley Center on Thursday, January 26, celebrates the Chinese New Year as the Nets face the Detroit Pistons, experience a special game night presentation, spotlighting China's most important annual holiday. Tickets available at SeatGeek.com backslash Nets. So the, the score in the fourth quarter right now, the Nets have scored five points. New Orleans have scored five points. We have played five and a half minutes. 6.29 to go in the fourth. 93-90, Brooklyn on top. Team that's had 10 lead changes in four times. Now, get, you, get, I think you're going to see a little C.J. McCollum right now for the uh, the Pelicans. Got him out there with Alvarado right now, the smaller lineup. Ben Simmons be matched with him. Nets with three team fouls in a, in a stuck in the mud fourth quarter like this. It's important not to get in the bonus if you can avoid it. Free throws are the team's best friend right now. Alvarado into the front court for the Pelicans. Bounces it right. McCollum's got it. Cut off by Claxton. Feeds down low. Valanciunas against Simmons. Turns across the lane. The sweeping skyhook with the left hand, and it's good for Valanciunas. 93-92 Brooklyn, midway through the fourth quarter here in New Orleans. Ed Simmons into the front court. Ears out to the left wing. Simmons moves it to Durant, open at the foul line, turn around, in and out, no good. Rebounded by New Orleans. Shocking what he's missed, most open he's been all night. Durant, 8 for 22 from the floor. Missed his first five tonight. 
There's 11 of 11 from the line. He does have 30. McCullum working left. Down the lane, kicking up top. Herbert Jones driving it. Down the lane, met by Durant, and then swatted away by Claxton. Simmons controls into the front court. Gibbs left. O'Neal's got it behind the arc. Durant late getting back into the play. Irving's got it on the right wing. KD being played by Alvarado. They put it to him top of the key. Irving. Or Durant, excuse me, finds O'Neal open. Left corner three. No good, too strong. Uh, and it's taken by Claxton out to Durant. Straight on three. And he buries it. Kevin Durant from downtown. 96-92 Brooklyn. With 5.07 to go here in the fourth quarter. Up at the hustle at Nick Claxton. Paul rejections one end, rebounds on the other. Now Marshall on the near side. Valachunas and O'Neal getting tangled. And a foul on O'Neal. 14 foul against the Nets here in the fourth quarter. O'Neal with his second personal. Trey Murphy going to come into the game, replacing Najee Marshall. Marshall with a career high 23 points tonight. Four fifty nine left. Nets up four. Their largest lead of the game, matching it. McCollum working up top. Moves it right. Alvarado run off the line. Drives along the baseline. Finds Herbert Jones open. Left corner three is in and out. No good. Rebounded by Durant. Good box out by Claxton. Keeping Valentunas off the glass. Nets to the ball up four. Four four to go in the game. Irving out of the right wing. Alvarado on him. Gets a screen from Durant. Switched up. Now has Herbert Jones on him. Durant against Alvarado. They throw it toward the rim. He overthrows Claxton, who is coming up. To maybe go set a screen. Irving thought he was going to go to the rim and go throw it to him, but he sailed it out of bounds. Now New Orleans to the ball. McCullum moves it out of the left, gets it back now. McCullum, pounded by Simmons, comes right, switched up with Claxton on him. McCullum, low crossover, driving it right. Step back, top of the key jumper is good for CJ McCullum. He's got 25. Not an easy shot. Claxton did a good job, but he's going to be their go-to guy with this lineup. 96-94, Brooklyn. 404 to go in the fourth quarter. Ben Simmons, top of the key. Coming right. Hands to the ramp. KD. Takes right, goes left. Foul line pull up. Good. Oh, it's in and out. No good. I thought it was down. Here comes New Orleans the other way. Chance to tie or take the lead with a three. A whistle and a collision. An offensive foul on Alvarado. Colliding with Ben Simmons and a foul called on Alvarado comes up limping, imploring his team to challenge the call. Seen Ben Simmons do that a couple times tonight when there's been contact on exchanges. He falls to the ground quickly and he's gotten the call. No challenge and the Nets will have it. They lead 96 94, 344 to go in the fourth quarter. Irving into the front court. Comes right. Durant slips out to the left. Irving gets a screen from Claxton. Coming right. Baseline fadeaway over Valanciunas is in and out. No good. Claxton a rebound and a dunk. Oh, wow. What an offensive grab there by Claxton. And a follow in the face of Valanciunas. 98-94 Brooklyn. 318 to go in the fourth. Down the lane. Shot swatted away by Durant. Murphy got it back. Puts it in. And a foul. And Trey Murphy will go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Both Claxton and Durant went for the rejection, allowing the opportunity for Trey Murphy to sneak inside, get the putback. Second chance opportunity. Boy, Claxton's been physical here in this fourth quarter. Defensively. So is Kevin Durant going hard, rebounding the ball. Durant's up to 10 rebounds. And this has got a, a terrific finish in store for us. And my apologies on the facial was not to Valentunas. It was to Jose Alvarado. A different kind of facial. We get a timeout here. 3.13 to go in the fourth quarter. Brooklyn 98, New Orleans 96. On the fans. Sports Radio 101.9 FM and streaming on the free Odyssey app. Looking for a new set of Michelin winter tires? Get the Town Fair Tire and get them at the guaranteed lowest price. Michelin Cross Climate Tires offer a design that delivers an exceptional level of long-lasting performance throughout the tire's lifespan. And at Town Fair, you'll enjoy more free services for life on your Michelin tires than anywhere else. For the guaranteed lowest price and the most free services for life, nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Name brands at discount prices. Town Fair Tire.
Tired of high gas prices? Well, get over to Route 22 Toyota in Hillside, New Jersey, where they've got one of the area's largest inventories of new Toyota vehicles, including some of the most fuel-efficient vehicles on the road today. So don't remortgage the house or take a second job just to fill up your tank. Call Route 22 Toyota at 973-705-9028 and have them show you how efficient a new Toyota can be. Call 973-705-9028 to speak with a Route 22 Toyota specialist or visit Route22Toyota.com today. Now that's the smart way to buy. Start your new year off right by finally losing the weight. Schedule your consultation with NJ Diet today. Their scientific approach that will ensure you lose the fat quickly and safely. NJ Diet uses hair and saliva samples along with their bioenergetic scans to personalize natural solutions and supplements that will balance your hormones where the side effect is weight loss. You'll shed a contractually guaranteed 20 to 40 plus pounds in only 40 days. And then NJ Diet uses DNA testing to help you keep it off. NJ Diet's all natural. No shots, no hormones, no surgery, no prepackaged foods. Full supervision every step of the way. And then you can get the doctor's email and phone number. So if you have a question, feel free to reach out and get them directly. With locations throughout the East Coast or from anywhere with live online video consults, you're good to go. Lose 20 to 40 plus pounds in only 40 days guaranteed. Call 8555-NJ-DIET. That's 8555-NJ-DIET. Or schedule your consult today at njdiet.com. That's njdiet.com. Lose the weight for good. Hi, this is Paddy Mills, and you're listening to Brooklyn Nets Basketball on The Fan, 101.9 FM and the Odyssey app. Take a look at the game summary brought to you by Verizon. The network America relies on. New Orleans led by as much as 15, led by 11 at the halftime break. The Nets able to come back and take the lead going to the fourth quarter. The Nets have led by as much as four. Right now lead 98-96 with 3.13 to go in the fourth quarter. Kevin Durant with 33, despite 9 of 24 shooting from the floor. He's 11 of 11 from the line. Kyrie Irving just 12 points, 5 of 18 shooting. Did make a big three here late. Najee Marshall with a career high 23 for New Orleans. 25 for McCollum for a Pelican team playing without Zion Williamson. A recent hamstring injury. They've been without Brandon Ingram for over a month. At the line, Trey Murphy completes a three-point play with that bucket. It's a one-point net lead. With 3.10 to go here in the fourth. Kyrie Irving into the front court of the left side for Brooklyn in the white corner left to right. New Orleans in purpose. Moving out top, O'Neal's got it between the circles. Played by McCullough. O'Neal holding on to it at his side. Moves it left side. Finds Kyrie. Behind the arc. Four to shoot. Hoist up the three. Short. Rebounded by Herbert Jones in New Orleans. Now C.J. McCollum. Coming left. Left of the lane. Bumps it. Claxton. Floater off last. No good. Valentunas an offensive rebound. Missed the follow. Rips it back. But it's stolen away by Kyrie Irving. And the Nets control. With two and a half to go. Nets a one point lead. O'Neal left wing open. Shoots a three. And hits. Royce O'Neal, who was ice cold in Chicago, 0 for 8 from behind the arc, hits a huge three, his third of the night, and the Nets take a four-point lead. 2.17 to go, fourth quarter. McCullum out of the right wing, gives it right corner, Alvarado with three. That's no good. Rebound grabbed by Jones, got a foul on the Pelicans. It's Kevin Durant going for another rebound. He's already got 10. I've been impressed by the way he's attacked and been physical. The Nets' hands have been outstanding around the basket. A lot of strip steals tonight. Execution is paramount right now. Which team will be sharper in their execution? Going to be full court, extended pressure. People are going to be up in India. How well can you execute? Ben Simmons going to sit down right now. TJ Warren will come in with 209 left. They didn't want them to go to hack a Simmons. I, mean, I think they'll play with offense defense right now. I still think the other Simmons will be back out there. But you can do it until the two minute mark. Yeah, it's almost out. Yeah. But they so weren't. Now Irving will go up against Alvarado. Irving bumping with Alvarado gets it on the front court. Kyrie handling with two minutes to go. 13 to shoot. Gets a four point lead. Durant top of the key. Durant pulls up. 20 footer. No good. Rebounded by New Orleans. Pelicans right to left into the front court. McCullum out of the left side. Drives to the baseline. Good angle to the rim. Blocked by Warren, but a foul against the Nets. 
McCollum seeing that T.J. Warren and not Ben Simmons thinks he's got an advantage. Get some space on the left side. A little hesitation. Warren does a pretty good job defensively, but McCollum is crafty and got a good burst. Kind of go to the line. So C.J. McCollum. Free throw on the way is no good. It's short and rimmed off the front of the rim. He's missed three free throws in a row. Herbert Jones comes in for Valanciunas. One forty-two left. Four-point net lead. McCullum with one more free throw coming. It's on the way, and it is good. 101-98, Brooklyn. Minute 40 to go. Fourth quarter here in New Orleans. Kyrie Irving brings it across the midcourt line. Irving between the circles, played by Alvarado loosely. Kyrie picks up the dribble, gets it to Durant, straddles the arc out high in the right wing. Eight to shoot for Brooklyn. Durant a rip, go to the baseline, stripped out of his hands. Back tap by Durant. Kyrie's got a two to shoot in the lead. Floater in the air. Rolls in for Kyrie Irving. And the Nets have their largest lead of the game. It's five with a minute 16 to go. On the left side, McCullum drives into Durant. Durant reaching, comes out the other side, feeds Jones underneath with a reverse, and it's good for Herbert Jones. 106 remaining. 103-100, Brooklyn. Kyrie Irving will come across. Got to get it over. Gets it across the midcourt line, played by Alvarado. Crowd of their feet here at Smoothie King Center. Nine to shoot, 50 seconds to go in the game. Nets with a three-point lead in the ball. Durant with it, just inside the arc. Moves it out top. Irving, he'll shoot a long one. And buries it from Baton Rouge. 106-100, Brooklyn. Timeout, New Orleans with 43.4 seconds to go. The play was for Kevin Durant on the right elbow. He got the ball. He wasn't really comfortable. And time was kind of running down. He didn't have a great angle. They really cleared the side of the floor for Durant. Didn't feel great about it. Gave a little bit of look at the rim. And that kick it to the left side to Kyrie, who you thought would have to dribble in closer to maybe attempt a shot. He didn't. He took a bomb and he just drained it. And he had struggled all night long. But the biggest shot of the night, Kyrie Irving, able to knock down from deep. Kyrie, who has won for his first seven from three, has made two threes in a row here in the fourth quarter. He's been a goldfish capper. Yeah, he forgot. He had a, a short memory. And he was uh, also made the, the time running out, the, the play in the lane uh, down the stretch also. The he league. was really struggling. Yeah, one of the, the best fourth quarter scorers in the league this season, Kyrie Irving. Puts the Nets up by six with 43.4 seconds to go. Irving, Simmons, Claxton, Durant, and O'Neal come onto the floor for Brooklyn. Marshall, McCollum, Jones, Murphy, and Alvarado for New Orleans. Nets with two timeouts left. New Orleans with one. Nets do not have a foul to give. Pelicans do. Herbert Jones inbounding the far side at the 28-foot mark. Gets it in up top for McCullough. Drives left. Simmons on him. Euro stepping. Going to the rim and lays it up and in. C.J. McCullough with 28 points to lead New Orleans. Nets get it in quickly to Durant. 38 seconds to go. Nets a four-point lead. Irving works into the front court with a pass to Durant. AD's got it. Moves it out top for Kyrie Irving. 14 to shoot. 28 seconds to go in the game. Irving out top, holding the ball, letting the clock run down. Alvarado creeping, reaching, five to shoot. Kyrie starts to move forward, shoots another deep three. That one short. Claxton deflected it, keep it alive, but a foul called against the Pelicans. It's on Herbert Jones. What a great effort by Nick Claxton, who came flying in from the right side to get that rebound, to try to attempt to get that rebound. Herb Jones had no choice but to kind of box him out and follow Nick Claxton's physicality has contributed mightily to this game, Chris. Blocky shots and also big rebounds, putbacks, and that effort right there, outstanding to get the Nets another possession. Great effort on the glass from Nick Claxton. With 14.6 seconds to go, Brooklyn up 106 to 102. 
Now that is a non-shooting foul, correct? Against uh, Claxton. Yeah, loose ball on that, was, that was on the attack back, so it was not on the shot attempt. They're not yet over the limit. They had a foul to give. That's why I asked because obviously yeah. Claxton, a poor free throw yeah. shooter, now that would be a key spot bounds. to have him at the line. But it'll be a side of the bounce here, and New Orleans wasted a lot of time they, there. They didn't. They elected not to fall, mm. understanding that both Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant are such excellent, late, excellent free throw shooters. They just went straight up, and uh, they really lost a lot of time. That's a real problem when you wait all that time, don't foul, and then don't come down with the rebound. That's come out with Irving, Curry, Durant, Warren, and O'Neal with 14.6 seconds to go and a 106-102 Brooklyn lead. Inbounding in the front court of the far side is Warren. Goes into the back court. Kyrie waiting for it. Now Herbert Jones runs to him and commits a foul. Kyrie, by running into the back court with no one following, was able to take away another couple of seconds there. 12.8 seconds to go. And now Kyrie Irving is going to shoot two free throws with a 106 102 net lead. It's a character win right here for the Nets, Chris. I, I, I know that the Pelicans are down players, but they've, they're they 17-4 and four at home. They've won a lot of games. Now, looking at a replay, Kyrie Irving had extended his arm and hit Alvarado in the face, and Alvarado went down, and that's why Kyrie Irving was open in the backcourt. Willie Green was living on the near uh, I side. I did not see that. The officials did not see it either. Yeah. You're under two minutes. You can't. Well, they can't challenge that. But see, you have to challenge a, a foul call. Yeah, there's nothing You can't call. challenge a no call. I saw uh, Kyrie, like, apologizing or talking to Elbron. It was kind of inadvertent. I mean, he swiped his right arm and kind of got him across, kind of raked him across the eyes. Speaking of the three students. <laughs> Kyrie at the line at a four-point net lead. Free throw on the way. Is good. <laughs> Makes it a five-point lead. Kyrie to get one more free throw. Kyrie looking to put the Nets up by six. After a long pause, dribbles twice, free throw up, and it rolls in for Kyrie Irving as New Orleans takes a timeout with 12.8 seconds to go. Nets up by six. We have seen strange endings in this building. Oh, good call. I remember we saw a, a game late where the Nets turned it over to, to Jared oh, Dudley. Oh, oh, oh. D'Angelo Russell mishap that ended up uh, the New Orleans stealing a game at the end. Six-point game with 12.8 seconds to go is still not over. If New Orleans can get a quick bucket, it's still a one-possession game if they can hit a three. But the Nets have had to grind tonight. They've grinded. They've had, uh, you know, we always talk about efficiency. Well, Kevin Durant wasn't able to be efficient. Kyrie Irving wasn't able to be super efficient. And just finding a way. They toughed it up. Their fourth quarter defense, outstanding. The rebounding, the physicality, block shots. A little work to be done right here. Don't you can't allow a three. The Nets were down 15 in the first half. We're down 11 at halftime. Outscore the Pelicans 35-21 in the third quarter to take the lead. The lead traded back and forth. And right now, the Nets are 108-102 lead. They're largest lead of the game with 12.8 seconds to go. New Orleans to inbound. Nets do not have a foul to give. They have one timeout remaining. New Orleans out of timeouts. Lob across for pass. Intercepted by O'Neal. Pass ahead. Kyrie Irving will dribble to the corner. Hold on to the ball. The Nets grind out a come from behind win in the big easy. It was everything but. But the Nets hang on. 108-102. Brooklyn wins it. The Nets, after having their 12-game winning streak snapped in Chicago, start a new one tonight, 108-102 the final.
And we're going to be hopefully joined by one of the Nets here in a moment. Just pointed to us, but no, he's not going to come over to the, to see who we're going to get here if we get anybody. We're waiting to hear. Stay with us, as Stay they used to say on Sports Phone years well, ago. I tell you what, a storyline is going to be that the Nets in the second half will first of all hold the Pelicans to 17 fourth quarter points, and they hold them to 21 in the third. So 38 second half points. I stepping up defensively, even though it's a subtle, slightly depleted, uh, a depleted uh, Pelicans team. That is impressive. And the guy that we were talking to talk to had an awful, awful lot to do with the defense and the rebounding and a little bit of everything tonight. And that's Nick Claxton joining us courtside here. Chris and Tim upstairs. Nick, congratulations. This was a grind. What was the key to turning it around and getting the win here in New Orleans? Definitely was a grind. Um, we knew that this game wouldn't be easy. This is one of the best, the toughest environments to play in. Honestly, the least that we played in all season. Um, they came out ready, but um, we, we stuck to the game plan, came out in the second half, fought and got the job done. Uh, Nick, yeah, impressive stats all around. Five blocks, four assists. You're rebounding. Uh, the biggest rebound of the game, you came with there. Take us through that play. How did you evaluate that where that ball was going? You came out of nowhere for that huge rebound late. Uh, I mean, I'm a ball hog. I'm a ball hog. That's what I do. I make plays. That's my job. I got to make plays, especially if I'm not if I'm not getting the ball offensively. I got to I gotta find a way to affect the game if I'm not getting the, um, the ISO situation. So that's what I do. And, yeah, I made a play. <laughs> and how about Kyrie Irving? I mean, he could make a shot all night, and then he makes those two huge threes down the stretch. He's been so big in fourth quarters for you guys this year. I mean, he's been doing that. Yeah, like you said, he's been huge all year in fourth quarters. That's kind of what we've become accustomed to. And we got we got some talent. We good. We, don't, we just got to keep going, man. This is a this is a good win. Well, uh, Nick, how about uh, you're, you're, you're up there in the all-star building. Tell people why they should be voting for you. <laughs> people should vote for me because I'm class. Um I bring it every single night. Uh, I'm the, one of the best defenders in the league. Offensively, I can definitely hold my own. And I'm young and turnt. I'm a, I'm a first face, and I'm ready to, ready to get to it. I love it. I love it. All right, I'm Nick. Voting you know, for you. You, you, yeah, gave us a good, you gave us a good speech on the podcast yesterday, but I like that one even better. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the real meat. Well, Nick, thank you very much for joining us, Nick. I appreciate it. Yep. All right, that's Nick Claxton, and you can uh, – Voice of the Nets podcast coming out with Nick uh, right, coming up next timing, couple of days. So, timing. yeah, Nick helps the Nets get a 108-102 victory. We'll take a timeout, come back with more, including the head coach, John Vaughn. We return right after this on the fans. Sports Radio 101.9 FM and streaming on the free Odyssey app. Brooklyn, how you feeling? Don't get benched by illness or injury. Book at-home urgent care at docgonow.com. Doc Go On Demand is in network with major insurance plans, bringing you the same high quality medical care as a walk in clinic at about the same cost. When your home team needs an assist, book an on demand house call at docgonow.com. Doc Go On Demand, urgent care reinvented. This message is sponsored by Ambulance by Doc Go, the official ambulance service of the Brooklyn Nets, New York Liberty, and Barclays Center. Hydrate with Brooklyn Nets Sports Water. Nets fans can show their team pride with Nets Sports Water, a high-quality, superior water beverage for fans with an active and healthy lifestyle. Whether it's quenching your thirst after a big game or taking a sip while you're on the go, let Nets Sports Water be your go-to for hydration. Now available in our sustainable, eco-friendly aluminum bottle. Refill and wrap the Nets as you help contribute to a more sustainable future. Find Nets Sports Water at Barclays Center or shop online at GoWaterCo.com. Nets fans, when decided to take a charter bus, there's only one choice. That's Best Trails and Travel, New York City's premier charter bus company. Best Trails and Travel has the highest level of charter bus service in New York City. has been servicing New York's leading corporations, professional sports teams, and private individuals for over 25 years. They offer premium customer service and the newest fleet of buses in the industry. Whether you're traveling with family, friends, or colleagues, Best Trails and Travel guarantees you the ultimate travel experience. Visit them at besttrailstravel.com or call them at 212-206-6974. In today's world, it's more important than ever to surround yourself with people and companies you can trust that will help you through some of the toughest decisions you've ever had to make. Whether you're looking to reopen your business or buy or rent a new home, Hub International is by your side. Visit Hub's Coronavirus Resource Center at hubinternational.com. 
Whether you're looking for help on business insurance, employee benefits, retirement planning, or even how to file for unemployment benefits, you'll get the information you need. Because at Hub International, our mission is to help you protect what matters most. Brooklyn Nets Basketball has been presented by Barclays Bank. Powering Possible. Brought to you by SeatGeek, Verizon, Maimonides, and by Weeble, official online brokerage partner of Barclays Center and the Brooklyn Nets. Stay tuned for the Brooklyn Nets postgame show. Coming up next. It's time for the Brooklyn Nets postgame show.